Mr. Speaker, I stand in support of this motion to allow the Minister of Finance to borrow in excess of $102 million for budgetary support, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, please grant me leave, first of all, as I sympathize with my fellow constituents on the passing of Leah Alberti of Massad Grosely and Anne-Marie Alcid, mother of Tisses and Vanda, two very, very well-known individuals in the community of Grosely. Please allow me to sympathize with them. Mr. Speaker, please also grant me leave as I sympathize with my fellow constituents on the passing of Norbert Williams, who resided at the entrance of Casabar Grosely. Mr. Speaker, the only interaction I would have had with him was on election day when I passed him on a line at the Sports Academy, no doubt on a line to cast a vote against me. But Mr. Speaker, <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, despite that, we greeted each other cordially and the rest, as you know, is history. And so Mr. Speaker, despite some of his machinations and rhetoric that were not all that pleasing to me, I wish his family well in this time of struggle. Mr. Speaker, today I am dressed and I'm attired with an orange tie, Mr. Speaker, in support of women and in the fight against domestic violence, and also in support of the Netherlands, Holland, at the World Cup as they get set to take on Argentina and to upset what many believe one of the favorites for this tournament. And so the very few Dutch and Holland fans in St. Lucia, we are represented here in the house. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. Remember somebody rose on a point of order <laughs> that you're misleading the house. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Brazilians and Argentinians, the, the Prime Minister supported England. We are in the minority, and so we must support everybody, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, also allow me leave to inform the residents of Riviamita Morshi and the minibus drivers in the area that a team of engineers of contractors, they are currently meeting, charting the way forward as they seek to establish a walkway for a collapsed bridge in the community yesterday. Mr. Speaker, since I've been in government, I've lobbied on behalf of the people of Rivermita for intervention on this bridge. And only last week, a contract was awarded for the works in that area. And so I want to thank the Minister of Infrastructure for his intervention. And I'm happy to announce that these works will be on the way very, very soon. Mr. Speaker, when I hear about the treatment of MPs and the call for them to be treated with dignity. I have to wonder and look at the motion here today to borrow in support of the budget. The budget. And Mr. Speaker, in the budget presentation, I made mention of the Mindu Philip Park, Mr. Speaker, and a certain member for Castries East and then leader of the opposition that was not given a cent yeah. in five plus years for the Mindo Philip Park, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. And Mr. Speaker, I challenge anybody to go to the Mindo Philip Park and see yeah. what has become or what became of the Mindo Philip Park under that previous administration. And Mr. Speaker, I came to this honorable house and in the budget presentation indicated that this government would make proper representation for the people of Castries East and ensure that the Mindo Philip Park 
is restored to them, Mr. Speaker. That dignity is restored to these people. And Mr. Speaker, I indicated that the Mindoville Park did not belong solely to the people of Castries East. The Mindoville Park belonged to the people of St. Lucia, to the Darren Sammies of the world, to the Julian Alfred of the world, to the Lovan Spencer of the world. And Mr. Speaker, no attention was given to that Mindoville Park, Mr. Speaker. None at all. And Mr. Speaker, $32 million spent in Don Lockerbie, and we know plastic around the place, Mr. Speaker. But Mr. Speaker, I'm not here to speak very long today, Mr. Speaker. I have a couple challenges of my own in my constituency that we are dealing with right now, but I want the people of Grosley to know that under this budget, that this, this presentation today, all these monies that we are talking about, the presentations were made in April of this year. To be comforted that this is not additional borrowing, Mr. Speaker. And so, under the DVRP, under every single intervention that is required to be more climate resilient, they will see this from this budget, Mr. Speaker. And so, Mr. Speaker, as the member for Grosley, I, I always like the member for, for Shuzel Saltibus, Mr. Speaker. I always have very good conversations with him, Mr. Speaker. And so for me, Mr. Speaker, I know every now and then some of the machinations is as a result of a collective agreement on the other side to somehow poke holes in what this caring government is doing. But Mr. Speaker, the sportsmen and women of St. Lucia will benefit from this intervention for the Mindo Phillip Park tremendously because we know the Castries Basin need the Mindo Phillip Park. The Clary need the Mindo Phillip Park. Mr. Speaker, we are getting ready for the return of inter-house competitions in schools. So, Mr. Speaker, from Bexor to Grosile to view, every day they use the Mindo Phillip Park. And so, Mr. Speaker, I am delighted that today that I can go back to my ministry and say the allocations that we spoke about in our budget presentation since April, they are now available for the forts facilities in St. Lucia, Mr. Speaker. And so, Mr. Speaker, I have to say that I not only unreservedly endorse this motion today, but I'm excited, Mr. Speaker, and I'm reminded of the Bellevue playing field. Another playing field that, that under this budget we indicated would get intervention. And we've started the work on that playing field, Mr. Speaker. And then I'm reminded quickly by the member for Denry South of his stance. But the member for Castro South East got biblical. I will be biblical for a little while. All things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And this administration, as we know, is called divinely by the Mosai for this purpose and this time, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> and so, Mr. Speaker, as a parliamentary rep for Grosile, I continue to encourage our people to be patient, that this government is working. And because they see the work of this government, they are afraid and they will continue to be afraid. But we will be strategic, we will be deliberate, and we will get it done because we are here to serve the people and all of the people of St. Lucia. And so, Mr. Speaker, with these few words, I want to endorse this bill, Mr. Speaker, this motion. And Mr. Speaker, I want to assure the people of St. Lucia that we'll continue to be there because we are truly here to serve. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.